Billie Eilish has discussed the creative process behind her theme song for upcoming James Bond blockbuster No Time to Die, explaining she and her brother Phineas, who acts as producer and co-songwriter, wanted to keep our own thing in there and offer something new while also honoring Bond. Speaking to James King on the official James Bond podcast, the 19-year-old pop sensation also revealed that for her and her sibling, 24, writing a Bond theme was a dream we never thought would happen. Billy, who is the youngest person to record a theme song for the franchise, shared a sweet anecdote, telling film critic James, it's always been a subconscious thing we wanted to do. I remember years ago Phineas wrote something and my mom being like oh my god that sounds like Bond and we'd all be so excited. Billy, whose track No Time to Die not only went platinum in the UK, but is also the most streamed Bond song ever, also touched upon the process of writing for the world of James Bond. The melodies and writing of the song was a little different, she began. We really wanted to represent Bond and not just be like FK that we're gonna make it our own thing. She added, we kept our own thing in there, but we wanted to honor Bond and the songs in the past. Billy also touched upon the fact that she belts out one of her most powerful vocals to date on the song, saying, that's something I've never really done. She continued. We wanted to give the Bond song something that I haven't done before. We wanted to give it something new. Not just something I haven't done in a song, but something I've literally done never. The hitmaker also revealed that if film fans listen closely, they will actually hear the famous Bond opening scene strings in the track. The Blonde Beauty explained. You can't do a Bond song without it sounding like a Bond song. If you listen closely you can hear the hums Bond theme in the second verse. It's very subtle. Billy also gushed about the franchise's famous opening credits, telling James the iconic visuals were one of the most exciting aspects of working on a Bond film. I've been watching the opening scene from Skyfall for years. When we were making this song we kept watching it over and over again. The whole time we were making it I was just thinking about the beginning. No Time to Die opens in UK IMAX cinemas from September 30th and sees Daniel Craig in the titular role for the final time. The film was originally scheduled for release in November 2019 but was postponed to February and then April 2020 following the departure of original director Danny Boyle due to creative differences. Final Farewell, No Time to Die opens in UK IMAX cinemas from September 30th and sees Daniel Craig in the titular role for the final time a China premiere and publicity tour was cancelled in April 2020 due to the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic, originally pushing the release back to November 2020. In October 2020 it was delayed again to April this year, with further delays happening in January and February of this year, with the world premiere date being announced as 28th of September last month. No Time to Die picks up after 2015's Spectre and finds Bond having left active service and enjoying a tranquil life in Jamaica when his old friend Felix Leiter, played by Jeffrey Wright, from the CIA turns up asking for help. It was revealed yesterday by May Longline that Bond fans watching at IMAX cinemas will be treated to 40 minutes of special expanded footage. Exciting, it was revealed yesterday by May Longline that Bond fans watching at IMAX cinemas will be treated to 40 minutes of special expanded footage.